you kind of just quiet your mind, you sit there, and then you imagine yourself moving out of your body and looking at yourself. Hey, it's Walter here, and you're at the Think Profit Podcast, where we're going to help you develop a rock-solid trading confidence and avoid the potentially endless cycle of system switching. Right, Hugh? That's right. We're going to help you develop a wealth mindset, develop a trading strategy that fits your core personality, and help you overcome the obstacles that stop over 90% of traders. All right, Hugh. Sounds good. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do this. Hey, Walter, somebody wrote in and they're asking, um, why do I keep making mistakes after a string of losers and what can they do? Right. So there's two, there's a couple of things that I would look to. I would look to your emotional context uh, when you're making these decisions and also you, the mechanical aspect of your system and how you're executing. So you need to score yourself on how well you are entering your trades and exiting your trades, also managing your trades. If there's management decisions like moving to break even, and then having a journal where you're writing about your feelings and your thoughts during the time, you can probably pinpoint other things going on in your life that may be impacting your actual trading uh, execution. So that those those are two pretty common things. You might find, for example, like some traders like me, we get really overconfident when things are going well. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm currently in four trades and they're all going quite well. So it would be easy for me to see another potential fifth trade and get excited. About, in fact, I did this morning <laughs> and, and get, get excited about, you know what I mean? And maybe even take it if it wasn't up to par, right? Yeah. According to your rules. Uh, whereas other traders, so that's, that's, a, that's an issue for me. Now, the, the, other, the other side of that is that, you know, you get a lot of, you have a lot of losing trades and then you might want to just make all that money back, right? As quickly as possible. So you might add too much risk onto a subsequent trade or something like that, right? So there are lots of ways to look at this. Typically, it's the emotion that's impacting the execution, right? And so what happens is you get attached to the outcome of those trades. You've had a lot of bad outcomes. And so that impacts your decision-making or the, or the other side of that, which is you get attached to the outcome of those winning trades. And that, again impacts your emotions and your decision making when you're deciding on how to execute the next trade or the next following, you know, chunk of trade. So that that's how I look at it. Mm -hmm. What are your yeah, thoughts? Yeah, no, totally. It all comes down to is if you're executing correctly, like you said, and um, if you're not, then figure out why. And uh, if you are, then keep going. But uh, beyond, beyond that, I mean, yeah, it's easy to get into that spiral of, oh, poor me, I'm just going to try and make it up quickly, right? Yeah, the, catastro the catastrophic thinking, right? Yeah. Where you just say, oh, I'm never going to make it. It's never going to work for me, blah, 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 blah. And it, exactly right. So that, so that, and you can stop that with logical thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have a trading accountability partner to talk to about that, and they can help pull you out of that. But there are lots of techniques, actually. I've been thinking about making a course on this, just on this issue of you know, building up your resilience and stuff, because I think it's a really important thing. I think it actually, in some ways, like fortitude and the desire to make, it work. I mean, trading work for you is important. And also with that would be like resilience. And they're kind of related in, in a way. I think if you have those things, then you will figure out the system. You will figure out the risk management. You will figure out the psychology. As long as you have the, the fortitude, the desire to make it work, and then also the resilience, the ability to withstand those really difficult times. Although, you know, winning streaks can be painful too for people who, for example, you took a trade and it, it only made 50 pips and then you watched it go another six, 690, you know what I mean? Without you, <laughs> yeah. you know, those can be difficult too. Yeah. Right. So it's, there's a lot, there's a lot there. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I think you're absolutely right with that idea of, you know, feeling like it's a downward spiral, catastrophic thinking. That's a, that's a big one for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And one exercise that I found useful, I think I read it in a book a long time ago, but you kind of just quiet your mind, you sit there and then you imagine yourself moving out of your body and looking at yourself um, at, you know, sitting at your desk or whatever you're doing and kind of evaluate yourself from like that third party perspective and say, Hey, it's easier to evaluate somebody else than yourself. Right. So when you kind of change your perspective, I think that helps also. Yeah. You know, that reminds me what you just said. It reminds me of like an NLP thing I read about like in 2003 or whatever. And it was, and I started using the exact thing, which is, um, so it's kind of what you said, right? So you imagine, like, like, let's say you're sitting there trading at your trading station, right? So you imagine that you're like a fly on the wall looking at you. Mm -hmm. So from that perspective, like what would the angle be from the height? And, mm. and then what you do, so the way that you do it is you view yourself from another's perspective. It could be like from the top, like as, a, as if you're looking down, like from a drone or, or whatever, you know, looking down on your head, doing the right thing, like doing 
everything right, executing as you should, right? And that's in full color, the sound, everything is as realistic as possible. And then if you want to kill a habit, what they said was you would look at it, you would see yourself making a mistake. Okay. So making the hat, the, doing the thing that you want to get rid of from another perspective, right? But it's in black and white. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's really kind of grainy and almost not a, like an old movie or something, right? So it's in black and white. It's not as vivid as the the one that when you envision what you want to happen. And then you watch that film and then you actually like, then you actually take that film, right? That black and white film of the recording of you doing the wrong, wrong mistake and you like throw it into the fire or, you know, blow it up with dynamite or, you know what I mean? Like put it in front of the train tracks and let the train run over or whatever, you know, flush it down the toilet. And so that's a way of kind of like purging yourself of that. So anyway, that's the technique if people want to try it out. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, that works really well. Yeah. I think I heard that from Anthony Robbins somewhere and he probably got it from NLP, but NLP probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, thanks, Walter. Okay, cool. All right. All information in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and is not trading or investment advice.